8 o'clock on Wednesday. I'm about to start studying. As usual, go three hours. However, though, there is something different today in a sense that two weeks and six days from now, I will be done with my studying period, which is quite exciting. I will be a free elf ish. After I'm done studying, I'm gonna jump into the whole fixing my LinkedIn, fixing my resume, apply to jobs, find referrals, that process. But at least I'm seeing the end of the tunnel ish. Recently, it's been hard for me to hit the three hours of studying goal per day. I, it's, it's, I don't know why it's hard. It's just hard sitting here, trying to concentrate, trying to focus on statistics. Let's go steady. One hour later. I just did a bunch of statistics stuff. Again, I feel like I'm always going back to statistics. It doesn't matter where I started. For example, I started today with case studies from data masked on like how would you test the success of a new ad campaign and then the next case study is about p-values which is like okay i remember what p-value is i learned about it i memorized it two weeks ago and i fucking forget how to use my own words to describe it and also type one and type two errors it's not like I completely forgot about what they are. It, like I'm at the point where in my head I know what they are, but if you ask me to verbalize it, then I'm like, crap, how do I explain it? You know? Am I the only person who's like this? Like, I know about it, it's just hard to tell somebody else about it or explain it to another person or answer it in an interview. Like I said, I did p-value and such, and I have my book here, and a little handy dandy cheat sheet to help me remember exactly what the heck these things are. And by the way, I have this like cheat sheet listed um, in the resources tab. And I'm starting to realize how ridiculous the amount of notes that I have is getting. I have a Google Doc that is all of my notes for data science. And right now we are at 146 pages. This is all the notes that I've ever made since I started studying data science. And there is a lot, 146 pages. And on top of that, I have even more notes that are written in this little binder. This is how thick it is right now. The difference between these notes are that like when I read the textbook and I'm just trying to like absorb everything for the first time, I do better if I write it down. That's what this notes is for. Like it's all written notes categorized based on the chapter of the textbook. Obviously, you can find this information like easily on uh, online in a text version, but when I do that, I don't memorize it or learn it nearly as well. So I write it down first in this notebook. So these are like all the concepts of statistics, right? And for the case studies, I record it in my Google Doc notes. Also in my Google Doc notes are like my roadmap, my goals. On top of that, the notes from Khan Academy and the Stanford Intro to Statistics course that I did at like week one of my two months study period. And then a bunch of case studies and cheat sheet on product and metrics, fraud and machine learning, A-B testing, and pandas. So that's all electronic in my Google Doc. I probably have to read through this binder and that Google Doc at least like three other times before I'm ready for an interview. And there's a lot to 
146 pages plus this binder to go through it three times that's gonna be like two days in itself well let's go make some coffee wow what well I clearly did not put anything away uh, when I made eggs at 9 p.m. yesterday so that's a little chaotic <laughs> Yesterday, it was 90 degrees, and instead of going to the gym to lift, I just went to the pool instead because it was so hot. Well, it was also because I busted my knee playing tennis yesterday. It's always when I'm doing sports that I'm not familiar with that I injure myself. Like I've played volleyball since I was in fourth grade and the only injury that I have from playing volleyball is my back injury. But both of my knees are shot now because one, my right knee, my bad knee, I injured uh, while I started to learn boxing. This was like back in 2017, 2018. And then yesterday I busted my left knee playing tennis. I've only played tennis for like maybe three, four months at this point. All right, friend, let's start our number two of study. Hour two. Down. I spent the entire last hour trying to do two case study questions. One was define test statistical significance in layman's terms. Why do people often choose 0.05 as a threshold? Wouldn't say 0.5 lead to higher gains in the long run? Question one. What well, case study number one? Case study number two was we ran an A-B test. Results were not significant, but the p-value was 0.06, just above 0.05, what would you do? Two questions, took me an hour, one more hour to go. I'm a little hungry, it's not lunchtime yet, but I'm like, we'll have a little snacky. We have found a string cheese. I was saying that I have like 146 pages in this. I'm just now realizing that a lot of that, was from Khan Academy and the Stanford Statistics, Intro to Statistics course. I don't think I will be going over that again at the end of my study session to try to memorize things because I don't think those two resources are useful in interview settings. I think they're very good for when I started this whole study period to get like a foundational understanding of what the heck I'm looking at. But I think for interviews, I will not be going through those because it's too non-targeted and it provides a lot of information that won't be asked in a uh, interview. Now, I wonder how many pages is that? There are 90 pages of notes that I will not be going through. 146 plus 90 is, I only have 56 pages to go through in my Google Doc document and plus the binder. When I was thinking about that, that made me feel a little bit less stressed. This is not good. Why is this so salty? As I'm eating snacks and checking my work computer, I realized that I have a meeting. 12 minutes. I really love working from home because it gives me the flexibility to pick when I study versus when I work. Typically I study in the morning, like first thing in the morning. If I don't do it in the morning, I just won't do it at all. My attention span throughout the day just decreases drastically. So I study in the morning and I will work the full eight hours that I'm required to. And typically that is very late in the day. Even though the length of my work is drastically prolonged, I still prefer this way better than any other way. So in my new job that I may or may not find, hopefully I may find, I will continue to look for a remote position. Like it's fine if I have to go in one day a week. Like three days a week is a lot. 
I'm okay with going one day a week, two days a week, but the majority of the week I would like to work from home. I just like the flexibility. It feels like I'm in control of my time. I don't have to commute. The commute time here in Silicon Valley is horrible. And I get to hang out with the cats and they're my emotional support animals. Well, you might wonder, don't I get bored working from home and not having any coworkers? Honestly, the answer is no, I do not get bored. And I don't miss water cooler talks with coworkers. On one hand, it's great that you get to make friends. I, most of the time, don't feel energized by a water cooler talk. And in my last job in office, I didn't really become really close with anyone because of water cooler talks. So I get nothing out of it. So I don't miss it. And I don't feel lonely working from home. That's great. I love it. I can see how some people need that in-person interaction. It is not me. One pair of pants later. All right, done with my meeting. Start our three of studying. Now I'm gonna start a project on metrics, specifically like ads analysis. This is what I have so far. I started it yesterday or two days ago. This is what I have currently. Just some cleaning data, some descriptive statistic stuff. Onward and upward. Let's do it. Can I help you, ma'am? You're taking up a lot of space on my desk. And that, my friend, is three hours. We did it. If I have more time in the afternoon after I'm done with my uh, job that pays me, maybe I'll come back to the project for a little bit longer. It took me a while to try to figure out how to install the Facebook profit package. Um, in the last hour, I probably spent a good 15 minutes trying to figure out how to freaking install it correctly. This is my lunch today. I'm not eating out of a mixing bowl. Who am I? But it looks so pretty. But when I was making it, I feel like it wasn't enough food. So I also heated up a leg of a chicken, a rotisserie chicken from Costco. Now I feel like these two combined is too much food, but oh, I noticed this when I was studying earlier. Do you feel this way when you study? Like you are reading something, you are thinking about something such as p-value, but also a part of your brain is thinking about something else. And for me, it was the song from Moana. I don't know how to sing it. I don't even really know the lyrics. Like, Moana of Machi Nui, make way, make way. Like that part, that verse was stuck in my head and it keeps replaying in my head as I was reading about p-values. It doesn't help. Is it a me problem? Do I have ADHD? Or are you like this? I distinctly remember the the situation, the me trying to focus and study while something else is playing through my brain was when I took the GMAT at a testing center, at a Pearson testing center. I was taking the GMAT and I knew it was a high stakes situation because it mattered what kind of MBA program I got into. But I think at the time, all I could think about was like my passport or something. It's something totally irrelevant to the test. I did take the GMAT twice because that one time, the time that I'm talking about now, I bombed it. It's not a me problem, is it? This bowl looks much better than it tastes. For someone who said that was a lot of food and that the food wasn't that great, I ate all of it. checking the survey responses on what we 
want the study group to look like, like what functions it may have. And I have a 28 responses so far. So thank you to those of you who have responded. If you've not responded but would like to be part of the study group and would like to guide where the study group is going, then submit a survey response before Sunday, June 30th. All right. Fourth hour. Let's do it. Let's do it. That was an hour. That was the fourth hour. We overachieved today. Though, I don't have an ounce left in me to do more. And I said I was gonna finish that Python project. Did I? No, I did not. I've noticed that's always me with Python or just any sort of coding things. I'd be like, oh, I have a task. That would be easy. It should take no more than two hours. And then I hit a snag the first 30 minutes in, and then it takes me like double the amount of time. We're gonna update my little sheet here. Four hours. In the last eight weeks, we've only missed seven, eight, nine, nine days. We've only missed nine days in the last eight weeks. That's pretty impressive, if you ask me. Give myself a little pat on the back. I look like a the girl from the garage. All right, we're ready for the gym. I feel like every time I put my bun up so tight that I feel like my entire forehead is being pulled up. But if I don't do this, my hair won't stay when I work out. So it's ugly. This is gonna have to do. Right, we're done with the gym session. That was an hour. My knees hurt. So I was like, you know what? I'll just do upper body and a row. So I'm not putting too much weight on my knees and hurting them more. But I rode for five minutes and my left knee, like I can feel the bones grinding up against each other. And I was like, okay, well, that's not the best choice. So I just walked on the treadmill for like 25 minutes. some Mediterranean salad again I keep eating Mediterranean salad and some seared tuna steak on top as protein now I'm gonna shower and go finish my book or try to finish my book The Women by Chris and Hannah I kept thinking about it today can't get out of my head. This is why I don't read fiction. Um, it's because if I get to a good part, I have to finish it. If I don't finish it, I get this itch. And I can't live with this itch. All right, I'm gonna call it a day here. I will see you back here again soon. Bye.